Hey folks, my name is Jürgen, aka Nerd and Proud of It, and Destiny has brought you to my channel today to help me complete my sorcery beta set. It is actually complete, but we're gonna add the cards to the binder, the cards I was still missing. For people who know the channel, they know that the red dragon shield binder is my sorcery binder. And I got a couple of packages here on the table which are containing or have contained, I uh, already unboxed them, I unpacked them, uh, contained my missing cards. You see the binder has filled up and that's what I like about Dragon Shield. I often get asked, yeah, if you got a full binder, will it still, uh, will the pages still lay flat? If you look at this, the pages very much still lay flat, although I have almost a complete binder filled with single sleeved sorcery cards. And a couple of them, or a couple of pages, are all my foils as well. Sometimes I have to look for my words, but that's okay. Let's start out with a cardboard guide here. I I love the <laughs> I love the graphics of cardboard guide. Hi Jürgen, dearest extended nerd family, I love it. Thank you for being a dear friend and for all the collaboration. It keeps us warm when the road is tough. Love, Jens and Sophie. Thanks a lot, Jens and Sophie. Very kind words. I feel the same. I really like doing videos with you and I love the the extended nerd family vibe. You saw the occult ritual here, the immortal throne. Um, I was opening a couple of boxes together with Cardboard Guide, or we did a box battle, a sorcery box battle, the Mega Boba. Uh, this one actually is really one of my favorites, the Adept Illusionists. And in this box battle, they actually pulled a couple of cards I needed, and without a hesitation, Sophie and Jens said, hey, we're gonna send those over because we know you still miss them. Um, the next two here actually are very similar because I got them from Chris. Chris, a good friend of the channel, I met him at the Sorcery Tournament we organized in Aachen. He saw that I was missing a couple of cards. He said, hey, what are you still missing? And I was like, yes, uh, these, because I get the other ones from Sophie and Jens. And he was like, hey, I got these two, one of them unique, the orb. Um, and I'm gonna send these over. And not only did he send two sorcery cards over, he also sent these awesome Magic the Gathering packs over, but we will open those at another moment. Um, brings us to my only, <laughs> <laughs> let's let's read it first. Jürgen, thank you for all the sorcery content. Keep them coming. Mike Pelly. Sorcery community probably knows Mike from Discord. Um, at least that's where I know him from. And of course from um, commenting in my videos and in my live streams. Mike is a very, uh, well, is that a word? <laughs> a very nice guy, a very kind guy. And I bought something from him, which I will also show in another video. Uh, but uh, he said, hey, you're still missing a couple of cards for your beta set. And I was like, yes, what cards are you missing? And these are actually the last four, three sides and the, um, the uh, brows. And uh, yeah, the pristine paradise. It's really funny that those that that the last cards I was missing, a lot of them were sides. So it's very uh, very interesting. Smokestacks looks awesome, and the brows, like I said. And he was like, "Hey man, I uh, can send you the thing you you bought from me. Uh, let's look at TCG player. A couple of bucks per card." Uh, I can send you those cards as well. He opened a ton of beta. Thanks, Mike. I'm happy with this. These are the only beta cards I actually bought. For your information, I opened 11 boxes. And I think after 11 boxes, um, I missed around 20, 22 cards. Then I was able to trade at the tournament in Aachen. Um, mainly uniques because I, I only had my binder with me and in the binder I only have the uniques duplicates or the unique duplicates. And first page there's already missing uh, a card which of course, as I sorted my set alphabetically, is the Adept Illusionist. Uh, we're gonna flip through these pages slowly. Um, we're gonna uh, fill in the cards next to the, yeah, the Black Obelisk of course, next to the Blasted Oak. Uh, which uh, of course makes sense if you organize it alphabetically. Let's see if I can, uh, yeah, you should see the binder well like this. No, uh, I, I think I traded like eight to 10 uniques. I had duplicates of just friendly people like, hey, 
what do you still need? Give me a an, an, uh, unique and I give you an, uh, a unique. And uh, that was really, really nice. Um, that helped me a lot. And then the last uh, 11 cards now, seven of them were gifted to me by Sophie and Jens and Chris. And the other four, the last four I had to buy <laughs> from Mike. And I think that's fair. And now my beta set is complete. Pretty happy about it because I, I've been flipping through this binder a lot. There are only a few binders in my collection I flip through many, many times and almost regularly. Um, and that is my Antiquities binder and my Unlimited binder and my The Dark binder. And uh, yeah, I... Um, I just like to look at the cards, look at the art, just uh, browse through my cards. And uh, I have that with sorcery a lot that I feel the need to just flip through that binder. Because there's still so many art I have not taken in yet. I mean, Magic the Gathering, I've been looking at those cards for 30 years. Sorcery, I have not been looking at the cards for very long. I started this collection end of last year when my beta got delivered, my pre-order, and now I finished it about half a year, three quarters of a year later. And of course I've been flipping through the binder a lot, um, filling those empty slots, but in the end I also flipped through the binder just to take in some of the cards because I think they, uh, they really look awesome. Another one here, uh, yeah, that should be uh, the Occult Ritual, because it's an O, uh, and um, that's because uh, Occult, the second letter is a C, so that should be the first one, and then on the next page, probably, we will be able to add the orb. Let me know in the comments, folks, I'm very curious. I mean, I'm happy with my beta set. It is, uh, it should be um, a first print beta set. I. Um, know for a fact that uh, all of the cards I got are from people who did not have the summer beta, the reprint. And I specifically asked Mike in the US to send me the four cards I bought from him uh, in the first print, because all of the set is first print. And I think you see it here as well. The Pristine Paradise looks fantastic, but it looks the same um from compared to richness and 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 how intense the colors are as the rest of the cards here so i um assume it's the first print and obviously it is um not really <laughs> looking at collecting a second set with the uh, second print uh, i would probably have to buy another two cases and then still buy a couple of cards I don't know if I'm up for that. I think then I just buy, if I buy two cases and it's about, even if it's about 200 a box, that's 2,400 bucks, right? I think there are, <laughs> the tadpole pool, uh, awesome. I think there are complete second print beta sets out there you can purchase for around 2,000 bucks. Um, I'm fine for now. I am. I first want to see some summer beta. Uh, yeah, that was it, folks. That was the last card. It, it, it it's complete. So it should be. Yeah, these pages indeed should be complete. There's one more thing I want to add here, and that's uh, the um, promo pack or the box topper, not the promo pack, the box topper, the cards from the box topper. But for the rest, this is a complete beta set, and I'm very very happy with it. Um, and now I have to think uh, about Arthurian Legends. <laughs> I'm happy I could complete this set before Arthurian Legends comes out. And I'm happy I got it out of the way. I still am hunting for unique foils. I got a couple in my last box uh, because I want to grade them at the next tournament. Uh, I hope there will be a lot of sorcery fun in Essen. And in the meanwhile, folks, I hope you stay healthy. I hope you stay frosty. I talk to you next time and I hope you enjoyed this sorcery video. I definitely did. I'm happy with the complete set. Bye-bye.